Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. down this road a million times so why does it always feel like like it's the first time like it's the last time I remember the days when I was young we'd watch the clouds dance with the sun the hot summer rains running down my back and I know
Thank you. My name is Anthony Lamb. I'm a musician from Fargo, North Dakota. Um, originally from Minnesota. I grew up in Minnesota. So my sound is very much a blend of kind of the music I was around when I grew up. It's got a little bit of like Johnny Cash meets kind of your high school choir meets my own personal kind of folky singer-songwriter styles. And when did you first start getting into music? I guess the first time I really got into music was when I was 13. My dad got me my first guitar and I just kind of really wanted to be a guitar player. I think my singing ability is probably a bit better than my guitar playing, but I still would love to, you know, learn as much more about guitar as I possibly could. I play electric and acoustic, but when I was 13, I got my first guitar and I kind of never looked back, you know what I mean? I've been writing songs for quite a time, so.
Thank you. How do you approach songwriting? Well, I guess every song is a little different, but a lot of my songs will start out with maybe like a guitar lick or a vocal line that I did have in mind before, or a lot of times it'll start with topics. So I'll say, all right, I want to write a song that kind of, you know, maybe brings awareness to like homeless people or drug abuse, things that aren't really the nicest things to talk about, but music kind of helps get over those bridges a little bit, kind of get some messages across. That's kind of how it starts, and then I just kind of play from there, and I really try to play, I mean, it sounds pretty cliche, but it's like you kind of play what you feel at the time, you know what I mean? Some songs you can tell when they're sad, and you can tell when they're kind of inspiring or uplifting, and sometimes they write themselves. Sometimes I'll sit down and just pump out a song in four minutes. That's pretty rare, but it does happen every once in a while. <laughs> Here we go again You keep on saying the same thing And I'm stupid enough to believe That a girl like you would fall for a guy like me So I'll sit here and wait I'll watch the sunset for another day And i look to the moon And I wonder if you're looking at it too well, maybe one day I'll learn from my mistakes And everything will change, 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 change Well, maybe one day The sun will start to shine And I will realize that I am gonna be just fine just fine, just fine, just fine. Now you tell me what I want to hear. You say you want me beside you. We've been here before And it always ends up with our clothes all over the floor Now you're lying in my arms Under the silk sheets we cuddle for warmth and I can smell the scent of your hair And I know tomorrow that you will disappear Well, maybe one day I'll learn from my mistakes And everything will change, 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 change well, maybe one day the sun will start to shine And I will realize that I am gonna be just fine Just fine Just fine Just fine, just fine. So I'll sit here and wait I'll watch the sunset for another day and 
when I look to the moon And I wonder if you're looking at it too Well maybe one day I'll learn from my mistakes And everything will change, 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 change Well maybe one day The sun will start to shine And I will realize that I am gonna be just fine Just have so many different influences. I try to find like three professional artists to kind of model myself after, but I mean, I think a lot of my influence actually come from so many of the artists I play with. Just like getting to meet so many people when you're on the road and how they do things and how they kind of making the leap from being a kid that's, you know, playing in houses to playing venues and getting consistent shows. That's kind of what's I guess influenced me the most, but music-wise, it's definitely Johnny Cash was something that I grew up on a lot. My mom always listened to it. Frank Sinatra is actually a big one too. That's kind of why I do my vocal melodies the way I do. It's almost like borderline opera. I'm trying to tell stories, you know what I mean? Above all, there are stories behind the words and I guess those are probably two of my biggest influences. Other than that, I mean, I take a lot of inspiration from like local artists that I meet, you know, especially around Fargo and Bemidji. How would you describe the atmosphere and what it's like to be a musician in this area. People want you to be things sometimes, especially on shows, but I think especially this day and age, it's actually great. There's a lot of places compared to, you know, just even four or five years ago, there's so many more places that are open to doing music and all different kinds of styles of music. So right now there's a lot of talent out there and it's just kind of fun to be around. It's a big reason why I lived in Bemidji and Fargo, because <laughs> the art is just, you know, there's something about the cities that are just kind of alive, you know, mm -hmm. it's ever changing and ever evolving, so. And how would you describe the experience of performing in front of an audience? It's a lot more like I'm home versus when I first started, you know, I used to get pretty nervous sometimes, just like when I used to get nervous singing in choir, or, you know, in front of people, but now it's, I'm at the point where it's kind of what I do and it's very fortunate to get to do it as often as I do, so. But it's, it's a blessing. It's probably the best way to connect with other people by far, I've, you know. That's why I love doing it. This next song is called I Tried. Saw you on the street last night. You had nothing to say. You just kept on walking by, just like every other day. So let me ask you this. You have done the same, or am I just living a lie, thinking I can be saved? Will I get into heaven, even if I do you right? Would Jesus forgive me? For telling all those lies, get into heaven. Even if I lose my mind, would Jesus forgive me? I swear to God, I tried. I 
can't say I blame you a bit You don't even know my name But when I needed you most You turned the other way So let me ask you this would you have done the same Or am I just living a lie Thinking I can be saved Will I get into heaven Even if I do you right Would Jesus forgive me For telling all those lies Get into heaven Even if I lose my mind Would Jesus forgive me? I swear to God I tried Thank you. And the thing, especially around here, is that people don't really care what genre you are. If you're good at what you do, people will give you respect. And what I try to do is if people are starting out, I try to give them as much advice as I can from when I started. Because when you're doing this, you're on your own. You're promoting yourself. You're, you're your own boss. You're your own manager. So you go as far as you want to go. And, and whenever I see other musicians that are starting out, I try to give them advice. and just so they can, you know, hopefully not hit as many roadblocks as I did. <laughs> said it before and I'll say it again we both know we can't be friends it was over before it began we said we'd just be friends but here you are Playing again, you're texting me at 2 a.m. Well, I said it before, and I'll say it again. We both know we can't be friends, no. So take my Never let me go What if I told you that I needed you the most Well, I've been staring at the ceiling For a half an hour And I got the TV playing So it sounds like chatter And I'm sitting in this room All alone just praying that my heart someday will find a home I don't know what you want from me It's probably an apology I'm sorry baby that's not who I am You're calling me at 3 a.m. said it before and I'll say it again we both know we can't be friends no so take my hand and never let me go what if I told you I needed you the most Well, I've been staring at the ceiling For a half an hour And I got the TV playing So it sounds like chatter And 
And I'm sitting in this room all alone Just praying that my heart someday will find a home Well, I said it before And I'll say it again We both know we can't be friends Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. If you enjoy watching Backroads online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org.